of the federal police in the hall here for their musical contribution. Thank you very much for being here. And the thanks that you hear also goes to all of you present here in the Bielefeld City Hall and those that are listening and to us and watching us on the internet in English or in German. We do not exactly know whether there will be some delay on the internet, a minute or half a minute, I would like to uh, know about that and then we will see who will be following us worldwide. Last year in Munich there were several hundred uh, spectators or listeners that uh, have been present on the internet. They preferred not to go to Munich but uh, they missed the most important thing. They only had the opening session and the closing session on the internet and everything in between can only be felt and experienced by those that are present here today. If you're present here, and that's the buzzword for all of those, all our guests here, um, then you will see a wonderful day. I would like to welcome our honorary guests and I hope that you understand that I cannot uh, name all of you now. This goes also for the speakers in the opening session as well as for all of the dignitaries that uh, are listed in the written version of the opening session. Well, the written version, that's our uh, buzzword, the German Crime Prevention Day in Bielefeld, that's not possible in two ways, in two respects. Can it be possible to have such an enormous congress in a small town as such as Bielefeld? Well, first of all, I would like to inform you that Bielefeld is not a small town, but not everybody is fully aware of that in the Federal Republic of Germany, and you can do it, because it's interesting, but it's true that uh, it's not the uh, only preventive uh, crime council that is present here, but also a council that looks into social and crime prevention activities, and they were founded in the very same year. My greetings go also to those that have traveled to Bielefeld from far away, and I'll come back to that later on, and so my greetings go to the representatives of numerous media that have uh, registered here, and uh, this morning during a breakfast we've already seen that they do not only want to talk about uh, crimes and uh, the search uh, for criminals, but they also want to cover topics such as crime prevention activities and other activities linked to crime prevention. It's the sixth time that our Congress is organized in North Rhine-Westphalia, a federal state. We try to reach out into the Federal Republic of Germany in the different regions with their different prevention cultures because as you know in Germany we've got the federal states and the situation with regard to crime prevention differs from state to state, from city to city. And the area of North Rhine-Westphalia where we are present here today was still missing and we will continue to travel around Germany to cover the entire territory. We would like to thank uh, the Premier of Northern Westphalia who has been very active in uh, supporting us in the run-up to this Congress, but unfortunately she can't be here today. It's Hannelore Kraft, the Premier of the State of North Rhine-Westphalia, and this is often heard Well, the politicians. Who are the politicians? Sometimes they attend the Congress, sometimes they don't, but she said right from the beginning that she would not be present here today, but she has very, very strongly committed him, herself to our work and supported us, and it will be a great pleasure that she will be represented by uh, Mr. Uh, Kuchati, the Minister for Justice for Northern Westphalia, and there will be a reception tonight. Well, this is the short version of our Bielefeld Congress. So if you read all of the different buzzwords, you know what this is all about. What do you see here? It's a wordle. Uh, the 600 uh, pages of the Congress catalogue have uh, been taken, have been searched, and uh, you know about that. Uh, some of the keywords have been taken out, and uh, we have highlighted the term opfer, victim here. Uh, we could have put victim also in the center of this world. But what is also interesting when you look at the different terms here is, and well, on the internet you will find uh, the version of this world once more. You can download it onto your private computer. But uh, when we look at the 
uh, terms of professor and doctor in our Congress catalog, uh, they are numerous mentionings of these terms. And that means that more and more scientific researchers are interested in our activities than a uh, number of English words. Uh, so we get more and more international and communication is very important. Uh, terms such as contact, email and others uh, are also written in uh, in large uh, funds here. Well, this is our Congress program. Who are the different actors and what are they doing? We have uh, 32 partner organizations that have been sponsors for many years. We've got the hosts here and my great felt thanks uh, and greetings go to the city of Bielefeld as the main sponsor, then the state of Northern Westphalia, Minister Jaeger is the representative of the state and then the Council of State Pr Crime Prevention, Mr. Diekmann, they are present here today. We've got our permanent partners, uh, police, uh, Tropica, and others. Uh, the White Ring, the Weiße Ring, has been a long standing partner, the German Forum for Crime Prevention, our National Prevention Council, and the DBH uh, Expert Association, and many other national and international organizations that uh, have supported our activities. And following a long tradition, I would like to point to those uh, guests uh, that uh, have traveled from most far away. It's a seven member delegation from the Korean Institute uh, from uh, Korea, uh, two colleagues from the GEZ, uh, from El Salvador and South Africa. And I would like to greet, since we're talking about international contacts, I would like to point to a seminar that will run parallel. It's the signing of the German speaking version of an international declaration regarding municipal crime prevention that uh, has been laid down and been adopted uh, by the German Forum of Urban Security last year, at the end of last year. Well, since you've traveled to hear from so far, you deserve a round of applause. This is the applause for our international guests. Well, this is the Magic Cube. You all know the Magic Cube. Some may like it, so some may despair. When having it in their hands. It has got to do with our Crime Prevention Day and with prevention in general. On the one hand, it has got two f solid axes and the possibility to push put some light on lots of different surfaces. You can change them, you can combine them differently, you can develop them differently. And it's worthwhile looking behind some of these different aspects. I think this magic cube uh, stands as a nice symbol for our activities for this year and the years to come. And I would like to use it now in order to point to the diversity in crime prevention this year again and to point to diversity in communication. Those of you that uh, love Twitter and are involved in Twitter now get a little hint up here, top right, the hashtags. I'm very curious to see whether we will be finding something on Twitter about our Crime Prevention Day. This community is, uh, well, the community present here today is not that much involved in Twitter, but there are some recommendations. The Bundeszentrale für politische Bildung the Federal Agency for Civic Education has given us some recommendations how to support a prevent a Congress, uh, an event, a Congress like this one, by uh, modern media, like the hashtags, for example, like the Twitter activity. So everything that you find on this uh, Congress on the Internet can also be found via Twitter. I don't want to... Uh, I'll highlight this too much, but I will be very curious to see whether that has got some relevance for us. And of course, you will find most of the information here in your Congress folder. Let me talk about the focal topic of this German Congress. It's only one element of the Congress, but an essential one. And it's very important for us to have some expert opinion backing up our focus topic. Ms. Stephens is here for this contribution today. And I think it was high time to look at the situation of victims in the different uh, court proceedings and in the context of crime and crime prevention. It's my feeling, and I think you will hear that repeatedly in the context of this opening ceremony and also throughout the Congress, it is my feeling that 
we need to really reinforce our dual perspective when we talk about two eyes you should never be blind on one of your two eyes the first eye is always crime prevention that is undisputed that always we should try to prevent crime from happening by using active preventive measures. But once we've had crime, and you look at the expert opinion, when you look at the different ex abstracts that have been suggested for this Congress, that both aspects need to be more balanced, need to be more at eye level, and need to be in our focus. And it's, uh, uh, p um, this is uh, criminal rights and law, and uh, what we do with offenders, with um, uh, with those that have committed crimes and the support and assistance to victims, orientation, victimization, the orientation that uh, can be given to victims. Uh, but that's a sort of help function. Or do we develop ourselves into a trend? Do we see a trend towards a well-balanced uh, equilibrium uh, between those two aspects, uh, what to do with the offenders and how to give support to the victims? And last but not least, it's not only topics around that focal topic that are important here today and tomorrow. But there are hundreds of other topics that will we will be covered uh, throughout that Congress by the different speakers and contributions. In my inaugural speech, I've just tried to give you some buzzwords, some key ideas. And during the press conference this morning, it became clear that more than ever, we find ourselves in a situation that we have developed over the past 20 years uh, from a situation where we said, well, prevention is, is good, uh, is more exciting than anything else, towards a situation where we see that we need to ask the question as to how prevention works. What do we know about the effects of prevention? What do we know about its functioning? And what needs to be done in order to be successful with regard to our crime prevention activities. Well, this, as far as my inaugural words and remarks are concerned, you will now have a Congress opening ceremony with many uh, different small contributions. Well, let me take a look at the screen. Well, that's what I was afraid of. That's uh, what happens when you take the pictures from the catalog, Mr. Jäger, Mr. Clausen. Please bear with me. I apologize. You are much more... Uh, pretty beautiful than on these pictures. The, I just want to show you these pictures because I want to announce the greetings from these two gentlemen. Then we will have some uh, jazz music once more and then we continue with our opening ceremony. Mr. Jäger, you have the floor. <laughs> 